11, 12. Katie Beth Nichols with your on location interview. This is Corey Bryan, Kickapoo Jr. She is in the Chamber Choir and she's here to tell us what's up with the Kickapoo Choir. Well, we have our first concert of the year tonight at 7.30. The Bel Canto performing, the Chorus One, Concert Choir and Chamber Choir will be performing. That's awesome. So how long have you guys been rehearsing this? Well, we've been rehearsing our songs since the beginning of the, this school year, and Chamber Choir has even been rehearsing some of their songs from the beginning, I mean the end of last year, so that's awesome. So everyone just come out to Wesley United Methodist Church at 7.30 tonight and watch your amazing Kick Food Choir. Good morning, I'm Abby with your Chief Chatter from the Counseling Center. The October Scholarship Bulletin is ready in the Counseling Center. Take a free ACT Turbo Test to prepare for the actual ACT. You can sign up for that with your counselor. The student flu vaccine will be Wednesday, October 8th at 8.30 a.m. You can pick up a parent permission form in the nurse's office. That's all for today. Thanks for listening. Hey Chiefs, happy Monday. I'm Katie Beth here with your national news update. Netflix is looking for official Instagrammers for a paid travel gig. Netflix is on the hunt for three accomplished Instagrammers or what it calls Gram Masters to explore the U.S. while taking beautiful pictures for Netflix Instagram channels. So if you're a pro Instagram shooter, fancy doing a bit of traveling across the continent and don't mind pocketing 4,000 bucks for your troubles, then hashtag your three best Instagram posts with hashtag Gram Master. In other news, the Ebola virus is still in full force with the NBC cameraman being quarantined after yet another Ebola scare. In other news, the Ebola virus is still in full force with an NBC cameraman being quarantined after yet another Ebola scare. Lastly for today, I've got a little pro tip for you. If you plan on setting your fiancé on fire, don't tell your vet. A Wisconsin woman was upset with her fiancé because she, he wouldn't wash her bed sheets, so logically she decided to douse the bed with gasoline and set him on fire. She spilled the beans when she stopped by a local vet and asked if she could leave her cat there for the night because she didn't want to wanted to get Vaseline all over its paws. The vet then called the police and her plan unraveled. That's all for me guys, back to Abby.